Students, welcome back to the biology class. There are billions of different kind of living organisms on Earth. These organisms have been classified into five kingdoms by Robert Whittaker. The five kingdoms are Kingdom Monera, Kingdom Protista, Kingdom Fungi, Kingdom Plantae, and Kingdom Animalia. Today we will discuss how Kingdom Animalia is classified further. So today's topic is classification of animals. Let us first discuss the general characteristics of animal kingdom. Animals are multicellular, that is, they are made up of more than one cell. Animals are heterotrophic, that is, they obtain their energy by consuming energy-releasing food substances. There are variety of animals seen around. Some of them are small, some are very large. If you observe carefully, you will find some animals are hard and having bones. These bones are joined to backbone or vertebral column. Most of the smaller soft animals do not have bones and backbone. So the animal kingdom is classified on the basis of absence or presence of backbone. That is vertebrates and invertebrates. Vertebrates are animals with backbones while invertebrates are animals without backbones. Vertebrates are further divided into five classes. That is Pisces, Amphibians, Reptiles, Aves and Mammals. Let us watch this video to understand animal kingdom better. Today, we're going to look at some animals by the internal structure of their bodies. According to this feature, we can classify them into vertebrate animals, which have an internal skeleton, that means bones, and invertebrate animals, like this worm, which has no backbone, in fact, no bones at all. All vertebrate animals have an internal skeleton made up of bones. Bones are very strong and give bodies their shape. They hold it nice and straight. The spine, the backbone, is made up of a series of articulated pieces of bone called the vertebrae, which allow the body to move in a certain way and be flexible. Vertebrate animals' bodies are divided into the head, the torso, and the limbs. Yes, the head, the body, and the arms and legs. Some vertebrates are aquatic, like these fish. Others are terrestrial, like this bear. And others fly, like this eagle. Vertebrates can move in many different ways. Walking, jumping, crawling, climbing, and when they have to, running but sometimes it's not enough. There are also many vertebrate animals that move by flying, like birds and bats. For example, these eagles, which unfortunately for the fox are much faster than him. Vertebrates are classified into five groups. Fish, reptiles, amphibians, birds and mammals, like this big howler monkey. Now, let's remember the most important things we've learned about vertebrate animals. Vertebrate animals can be classified into five groups. Fish, reptiles, amphibians, birds and mammals. So today we started with classification of animal kingdom where we learned that animal kingdom can be split up into two main groups vertebrates and invertebrates. Vertebrates are animals with a backbone while invertebrates are animals without backbone. We also discuss the five classes of vertebrates. Thank you and stay safe.